Alright guys, how's it going? It's Will here from ZaltechReviews.com Today I'm reviewing the Sector Pilot Phantom from Nodus Watches uh, Nodus Watches is a micro brand based in Los Angeles where they design and assemble the watches If you want to... I've done an unboxing of this and the Sector Dive if you want to see what's what you get in the box and all that, I've done an unboxing video so you can have a look at that. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, okay, right, cue the intro. <laughs> right, guys, you've got two options with this uh, Sector Pilot. You can either, well, you can either have it with a stainless steel bezel like I've got here, or you can have it with a DLC coated bezel, obviously in black. Personally, I like I like the stainless steel one better. Price wise, you're looking at four hundred and seventy five US dollars with the stainless steel bezel and five hundred dollars uh, with a DLC bezel. I'll talk more about the price later on. Uh, the watch itself, it's full stainless steel, 316L obviously. The case back, mid case, crown, the bezel, bracelet, clasp. With regards to the finishing on, on, on this, it's fully brushed with a few polished accents. As you can see, that chamfered edge there along the top. That's polished. Uh, it's just small undercut as well, that's polished the bracelet is fully brushed no polishing whatsoever uh, you've got a wee bit of polish there on the chamfered edge of the clasp which is nice and that's, I don't see any more you've got a bit of polishing in in between the lugs there and at the back you can just see it and basically you've got I better check this. You've got three colour options. You've got black. Hang on a sec. You've got the Sector Pilot Corsair, which is black. You've got the Sector Pilot Flyer, which is like a copper dial. And you've got this one, which they call the Phantom, which is obviously blue. I think the blue one, the blue dial, is the best out of the bunch, mainly because... I'm not a fan of when they put a crosshair on the dial itself. Sure, there's a crosshair on the blue one, but it's really faint. But it's a lot more prominent on the Corsair and the Flyer. Right, let's talk dimensions and whatnot. Case diameter, 38.8, 46.9. Overall thickness, 12.5. The crown is 7mm. The bracelet... 20mm at the lugs and it tapers down say 17 and a half just a shade over 20.5 at the clasp uh, the crown is screwed down uh, it's got like a it's signed as well by the way as you can see with the Nodus, uh, Nodus logo there and it's got like a almost oh, a slight onion shape to it it kind of flares out towards the tip it's got a flat top sapphire crystal with a domed underside and it's got the blue and AR coating on the underside only. Um, the bezel is friction based, it's bi-directional so it goes both ways. Easy to turn, obviously it's you're always guaranteed to get it spot on so it's perfectly aligned. There's just the right amount of friction, you won't, you won't ever like bump it with your wrist or on a whatever well, if you move your wrist along a, a couch or a bed or anything, it's not going to turn. It stays in its position, and I've wore this for the last three days. The position it's in, it's, it's not moved at all. Loom-wise on this, you have uh, Swiss Super Luminova uh, X1 C1. I'll show you a loom shot later, but what resistance? You've got 100 metres. Uh, you've got this new style... Um, bracelet I, I, I do like it female end links obviously uh, screw pins for adjusting uh, solid links throughout, mill clasp 
clasp itself has got three levels of micro adjust which is enough for this because it covers pretty much well just a shade over a full link i would say the total weight on of this hold on let's get my wee scales thing now the total weight of this is 160 grams that's for the full bracelet um sized up for my wrist on bracelet and my wrist size is six and three quarter inches i weighed it in at 147 grams so it's pretty much bang on uh the dial is very very nice it's got you see that inner ring there it's textured like a sand texture type piece there in the middle see how it plays with the light i think that's more the ar coating run rather than the dial but it does give a good a good effect on this blue dial it's nice uh, the hands are white and they're just a uh, white matte finish obviously filled with lumen that in the middle and the second hand swipe an arrow tip there reaching right out to the minute track i think the size of the hands too are very well proportioned the hour hand just goes to the tip of that outer edge of the inner ring and the minute hand goes right out to the minute track so ah, it's bang on it's lovely and i love arabics as well rather than you know buttons or indices or whatever hey what else you have got the, i've got to say the finishing on this is fantastic um the movement that's inside this is a seiko nh36 uh i'd have preferred it not in fact because you can't really do that uh, it's an nh36 and you've got day date complication and it's moved to the six o'clock and I think this is the best execution of a day date at six because the day is horizontal and obviously the, the day underneath. Uh, I'm not sure if you've seen my review of the Radcliffe signature which was released or was on Kickstarter recently and they done the day vertically with the day underneath in it. Oh, I didn't like it much. It was a nice watch, but I didn't like that aspect of it. I much prefer this execution of the day date. Colour match date wheels as well. Can I fault it? Bang on. As I say, the finishing's outstanding. The tolerances are fantastic. There's knee wiggle there, knee wiggle there. Nice action on the crown as well when you're using it. As I said, the bezel action's brilliant. Even though I would have preferred the dive style bezel, 120 click. This, this is still re really, really good. And it's a countdown bezel as well, by the way. I forgot to mention that. Uh, it's a countdown bezel anyway, so as you can see there. It's handy in that for time and stuff. It's actually got... You get more use out of this countdown bezel than you do a dive bezel, to be honest with you. Like real world use, I'm talking. As I mentioned earlier, case back is solid. You've got the various specs around the edge there and this four circle thing in the middle. I don't know what that's supposed to represent, but, but either way, it's 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 nice so kinda of fault it. Aye, the clasp is really nice. I actually prefer clasps like this. Good action and everything, dead secure. Nice feeling on wrist, no too thick. In fact, it's actually, I mean, you compare it to, like, your normal flip lock with your dive style uh, class, or it's a lot thinner, actually. Very nice watch. Uh, what am I missing? Oh, drilled logs as well, that's an added bonus. Uh, two years warranty, which is all good. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm definitely going to recommend this watch. When I first started the video, uh, I was going to have an actual, a wee bit of a go at Nodus watches for the prices and because it's got an NH36. Um, but I'm going to say like this one, as it is, $475. I think it's a fair, it's on the expensive side, but it's still a fair price due to the build quality and the finishing. But 
I mean, as long as they keep them under five hundred dollars, I think it's it's a good shout. I mean, you are getting what you pay for. Uh, Bill quality wise, I mean, this will last for years, man. Totally years. It's never going to fall apart. It's really well built. Outstanding finishing and all that as well. Right, let me give you a wrist shot. Uh, quick wrist check. I'm wearing my modified all metal G Shock Square. Right then, wrist shot. Let me. Aye, that'll do now. Aye. Love it. It's one of the everyday pieces, really. I wouldn't really. Well, would you categorise it as a pilot's watch? It's just one of the everyday pieces that does everything that you need it to. A really well executed uh, day date complication there at six. Very legible. Sits on the wrist brilliantly. There you go. Quick loom shot. Uh, the loom's great. Uh, especially for to get that blue glow. Um, obviously, the loom could be better if you use C3. But then it's going to have a green glow and it's just going to ruin the whole aesthetic of the watch when you see it in low light or at, at night. There you go. That's a slightly better shot of the, the loom. Now the second hand is loomed as well on that wee arrow tip. Uh, excellent watch. I'd highly recommend it. You might be able to get one a bit cheaper if you look on the used market. But to be honest, these, go, these hold their value quite well. No just watches. Anyway, that's it for today, gentlemen and ladies. Um, I'll be back with another uh, review of the Nodus Dive, Sector Dive. I've got one of them sitting here. Um, anyway, thanks very much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Toodles!